next I'm going to show you how to back up your actual UMD games if you have a PSP model with the UMD drive and also I will show you where to put your ISO file games to play them straight from the memory card. Let's take a look. Where to put your games inside the memory card may be something you are wondering and that can be done by first connecting your PSP to the computer and what you see on the screen is my PSP memory card and what we need to do here is manually create a folder called ISO if it does not already exist. I have already recorded doing backups with this PSP and that's why my PSP already had the ISO folder but go ahead and create one if you need to. Then next locate your PSP game you want to transfer I have here my backup of God of War Change of Olympus and what we do is simply copy this file and paste it inside the ISO folder on the PSP memory card and wait for it to complete. Simple as that. Now keep in mind transferring games using cable connected to PSP can be very slow so if you are using a micro SD card adapter and have access to a memory card reader that is highly recommended. Once the transfer is complete, you can disconnect your PSP from the computer and your game can now be found from the PSP's game section and accessing the memory card. And again, this works for all models of PSP. That's it. Now you know where to put your games. And next, we talk about how to back up your UMD games. Now, when we back up games, I like to use an application called PSP Filer. And before we can use it, we need to download it. And you can find the link to this website down below. So from here, just scroll down and click on download the zip file. Next, unzip that file and connect your PSP to the computer. Now, you should have folder called PSP Filer 6.6 Go. And all we need to do is copy this folder, go to PSP Memory Card. And from here, first go to PSP Folder, then Game Folder and paste it inside here. With that, we can disconnect from the computer and continue on the console itself. Okay, now PSP filers should appear in your PSP's game menu. In the video, I quickly confirmed my UMD drive works and it indeed does. So go ahead and launch the PSP filer application. Choose the language you want to use. I'm just going to go with the English option. And once you are in the application, you can press triangle to access the different options inside the PSP filer. Now, in this use case, we want to back up games. So we press right trigger, which launches the UMD ripping option. Next, you can choose what you want the file to be called. By default, the name is actually the game ID, so the box of the game is going to have the same name, but if you wish to do so, you can rename this to whatever you like. I'm just going to go with the default name, then just press the start and UMD ripping will begin. Now, this can take a while depending on the game size, and in this example, we have a very large game, 1.7 gigabytes, and it will take approximately 24 minutes. When the process is completed, your game will now appear in the game menu and you can remove the UMD and continue playing without it. Awesome. This backed up game now can also be found from the ISO folder if you connect to computer and want to transfer it for PSP Go, for example, or whatever use case you may have. That's about it for backing up games.